there there was something in in our session with troy podcast uh where you you asked me a question and i didn't have i didn't have a the answer that you wanted i guess and and then we didn't we, that was like the end of that story i was like okay none of that uh I want to, I want to, I want to pull that car back out. I want to, oh, I want to bring this up, especially with, with Jerry in the room while we're all high. Uh, you had asked about like out of body experiences and I think you called them a- astral projections or. You talking to me? What? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Astral projections. He's about to punch you in the face, Joy. You're talking no, no, to no, me? I heard you. I heard you. I was just making sure you were talking to me. Yeah, let's. I, I want to go down that road. Like, let's. Like, you, you, why? Why did you bring that up? And what? What? What have you experienced? What? What can you tell us? I, I wanna. I wanna get. I wanna get projected upon. Uh oh. Oh. I, I feel like. I feel like this is gonna start a phenomenal conversation, Uh-oh. bro. So like, uh, do we wanna? Do we wanna? Mushrooms. Do we wanna like do a little a little snippet and be like Troy edit this or do are we gonna just keep this all in? It all depends on on cool astro astrophysicism or whatever you just said. All right, so real quick, uh, my friend in high school was really into this, right? So that's how I I learned about it. Uh, these out of body experiences, astral projection, more specifically. Okay. Okay. And um, it's like. You can do things to train your body how to get into this state where you're not sleeping. You're not awake, you're not sleeping, but you're like, your mind is in like outer space, all right? And it's really uh, strange, but here's my experience with it. Uh, I was uh, uh, 20 years old at the time and uh i was with my girlfriend and uh it was like late at night we were sleeping on the bed and uh all of a sudden i started feeling like um uh like everything was vibrating right and then uh i was i saw like i could see and i saw my girlfriend lean over me and I was, I was, I remember saying, wake me up, wake me up, wake me up. Right. And I thought I was dreaming it. Um, but I wasn't, she said my eyes were closed. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, it was very, very exchange experience. You, you hear like uh, shit. It, it, it's hard to explain what it is in a brief uh thing but basically it's an out-of-body experience where you hear weird things and sometimes you can see but your eyes are closed were you able to see or was it all sound for you okay so like basically i was able to see what was going on in the room and she was there to witness to say my eyes were closed but i was able to tell her what was going on in the room afterwards you know what so I mean? It's creepy uh, shit. Creepy is that shit. how like blind people see using their Sometimes, using their senses? If they know how to do that shit, they could. Honestly. So your awareness was in your room. You weren't like flying around in space or something. You were so like- what they consider it is there's an actual um I think they call it a cord. So you're always like connected by this cord. Uh-huh. To like yourself a, a balloon and that's why a lot of people their first experience is them in bed floating up and then looking back at themselves and not really realizing what's going on and freaking out and then when you freak out when this happens you just go whoosh, you come right back to it you know what i mean mm-hmm. so you have to kind of know what's going on and this is how you this is what astral projection is you're training your body to know what's going on and not get scared by it and then let yourself like go out of body. It's fucking crazy shit. So how do I haven't one... done it in a really long time? Uh, but it's really weird, crazy shit. People have like institutions based on this stuff. Oh. Um, how how does one reach that state? Uh, meditation, okay. a special kind of meditation. Um, laying down in a special you know uh really comfortably and then doing like a a meditation type thing where you completely clear your mind 
Um, and, uh, and then there's exercises you can do to uh, make it happen. For most people, it just happens when they're not really expecting it, but they're, you know, technically there are ways to make it happen. That's very interesting. And does but this it have scared the shit out of me. It's very does scary. It have, most people any... are so scared by it. They don't want to make it happen again. I'm not going to lie. It's not a fun experience. It was scary Were you meditating yourself. at the time? I'm sorry? Were you meditating at the time? No, I thought I was like in the middle of like a sleep zone where I was like uh, almost half asleep. In bed? Yeah. And uh, I, it would almost be like a form of meditation, the way I was positioned and stuff. And uh, the sounds I heard were just fucking scary. It was like chainsaws. It was a very, very frightening experience. Um, and I could see why like not a lot of people are into it. Is, and I can see why some crazy people are into it. Is there any psychological benefits to, to, uh, to Some that people state? say there are. Uh, there's one guy, I think his name is Robert Monroe, if I remember correctly. Sounds like a detective um, name. And, uh, they do claim that, you know, there are, there are benefits and you're, you're kind of like acknowledging your demons when you really go deep into it. Uh, you know, and it's kind of mm. just, it gets really deep and really freaky and, uh, I backed off it because I was like, ah, too free. I'm messed up enough as it is. <laughs> uh, but some people are really into it. Some people like it. The guy who uh, wrote the book and made the institution, like he, he goes on and on about how far he went into it. He goes like into other dimensions and stuff. I'm like crazy weird, man. That weird stuff to read, to shit. watch about when you're high. I'm telling you that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably you know get you I mean? thinking. Find All some right, well, well, projection videos. Back when you were hearing the chainsaws. Yeah, man. You said uh you 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 said earlier than that, you said that um well it started with the vibrations. Yeah. What 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 do you mean by that? What was like like a big bass rumble or what what did you experience? What was what do you what are you describing there? So you feel like um you feel like a whole body, uh, the, the only way to really describe it is a whole body vibration. Uh, like if you're laying perfectly still asleep, um, picture yourself the calmest you've ever been. You're in that zone in between sleep and being awake, but you're so calm and you don't even want to move your body. And it's, your body's almost like buzzing mm -hmm. with comfort. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, you mentally take it further and you let your body get to the point where it's vibrating. And then you're like, at the same time, focusing on a, a sound or something with your head to clear your head. And before you know it, you're like out of your body because your body itself gets into the vibrating mode and your mind gets so clear that you like, this is from what I remember at the time. Do you but remember anything more about how you get into the body vibrating mode? Uh, that is, no, you Shit. have to, it's, it's like a, uh, it's <laughs> the a meditation thing. Motherfucker. That's like getting to the punchline going, no, nah, that's this, that's Jerry, you're all about no, frequency. No, that's a meditation <laughs> thing. If you're all it's about a, frequencies, you, you should, you should be all about the vibration. Well, that's why so I keyed in thing. on this because he, he mentioned a vibration. I'm going, fuck yeah, man. Would describe that vibration. That that's, that's. Cause I'm all into frequencies and shit, man. So I'm interested Did in what you ever that, that feeling before? was. No, never before, man. I've, then it's, yeah, it's barely not started. Happen. That shit, the right there, that shit there won't. But what that's what I'm saying yeah. is everything else about it made sense to me. Like the whole mm -hmm. sound in your head taking you somewhere else. I get all that. That shit happens. But yeah, it the, starts the, from a meditation, a certain type of meditation. Okay. Um, and if you've never meditated before at all, it's going to seem very foreign. Jerry's meditated. Yeah, I've meditated. It's just not something that I do all the time. Yeah, you know it's not. I meditate all the time. I'm going to go cough right now, though. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Well, that sounds I really can't... interesting, man. That sounds, I, I appreciate you sharing. Place. That's some cool ass shit, man. Um, thanks a lot for sharing that. It's That's really cool. weird stuff. Yeah, no, I'm curious. Absolutely. I'm sure. Why, why did you, why did you like, when you guys were having that conversation, why were you just like, nah, we're going to put that card away? Why, why did you do that at that know. time? 
I think they were out of time, or they were they they they're about to end, and it was a last second. Oh thing shit! He's coughing. Shit. He's got to come back. No, no, no. It was, it was, I think it was towards the end. It, it was towards the end, and Bud Bud asked me if I had ever experienced any any, any of that. Oh and I, yeah, and I said no. Like a long time. Like no, I I have it. And he goes, all right. And then he had like something else. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was that's fair. That he mentioned awesome. something that reminded me of it. I, I got gotcha. you. There we go. Okay. Probably something about meditating or some shit like that. Dude, yeah. I gotta take a fucking leak, man. I thought, I thought you were gonna say you're gonna, you gotta take a dump. I'm like, man, what? Yeah. I don't know why. It just look like your lips were gonna say, <laughs> no, nah, man, no. Nah. Like it's a. Uh, I might Before have to stop away. A, you can take a break. Uh, yeah, man. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna pause. step away and come back. We can. We can all pause. Just stay frozen. <laughs>